Oh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. We've had plenty of great memories on you two systems, but after 8 to 9 years, it's time to finally let you rest. So, for today's commentary, I want to talk about why it's time that the PS3 and 360 finally just go. And why it's time that we as gamers move on to the current gen. So, let's get into it. So, a lot of people are obviously very used to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 after how long this generation has been, or last generation that is. You know, the 7th gen lasting over 8 years now. And while we have had plenty of great memories on both systems, people, it's time to let them go. And I know a lot of people are still on the 360 and PS3. A lot of people don't want to leave their system because of nostalgia or, you know, they just really want to keep on playing the systems. But like with any other console generation, it's time to leave the last gen and it's time to move on to the current gen. And saying, I don't have the money to buy a new system, it's not really an excuse, you know, because if you save up, you can buy a new console. It's as simple as that. So saying something such as, I don't have the money to, save up your money. Go get a job and save up. It's as simple as that. Besides, the, the Xbox One you can get for 350. PS4 you can get for 400. The most expensive console is the PS4, and that's still 400. So, consoles right now are pretty good prices. They are in very good price ranges, especially with how early this generation is. Especially with how early we are in this generation is what I meant to say. Besides, a lot of games are not coming to the 360 and PS3 this year. A majority of games are just going to be on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Besides, the reason that we can't stay on the last-gen systems forever is because, just like with any other previous generation of consoles, last-gen systems are going to hold everything back. And now a lot of people that have moved on to Xbox One and PS4, they now feel the pain of PC gamers when they were held back by the 360 and PS3 back in 2010 and 11 when the systems finally reached their limits. And now that these systems are long overdue, and they have reached their limits a very long time ago, you know, about three years ago, that's pretty long in gaming time, it's time to move on. Sorry, people. And apparently some people aren't going to move on until these consoles, you know, the 360 and PS3 are no longer in being supported. Well, it's going to be quite a while until they're no longer supported, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Sorry. But it's time to move on. You got to. We're in 2015 now. Consoles, Xbox One and PS4 are all are both over a year old. The Wii U is over two years old. <laughs> Sorry, but it's time to finally board the train of 8th gen. That's just how it is. It's disappointing. And a lot of people are going to say that they don't want to. Or they just can't right now, but... Now that we are in 2015 once again, there really isn't any, any excuses. And I know I sound really selfish in this video, but I'm just being honest. Even if I sound like a dick, at least I'm being honest. I don't like sugarcoating things. So, what else can you do? So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this commentary, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, I'm out.